Special conversation now with Wapakoneta grad and Youngstown State grad Heidi Schlegel, fresh from Germany, where she spent the year playing professional basketball. Got a lot of things to get into, but we'll start there. You know, how was the experience living in Germany? One of three or four Americans on your team. Uh, what was that like? It was amazing. It was an awesome, awesome experience. I loved learning the culture and loved um, interacting, like day-to-day -day life, being able to go to the grocery and go. Um, every afternoon they go and get coffee and just doing that with my teammates or with locals. It was really, really cool. Are you a coffee person? No, I'm not. I actually uh, drank chai. I started oh, really? tea. Yeah, okay. I, I really started loving that. Okay. Yeah. Do we have that here? The same I don't think so. I don't <laughs> think so. To be honest, I don't think so. What were your three or four favorite moments in Germany? If you could you know, oh. think right away, these are the things that I'm going to remember. Um, the first one is just having, my whole family came over and visited at different parts. My dad, my mom and stepdad, and my brother and his wife and their baby, and uh, my boyfriend and his dad came and visited, and um, that was like the top, like all of their visits um, tops everything. Um, but then the second thing would be um, we made the playoffs, okay. and it was like a huge moment to make the playoffs. Like, we were that team that could make the playoffs, but if we lost, we probably won it. And so, and we won the game, and that was. And my dad was there for that game, and that was. It was really cool. That was one of the top moments. What is women's basketball like professionally in Germany? What's the atmosphere like? What do the fans think? You know, kind of yeah. take us through the atmosphere. Um, it's actually a really cool atmosphere. The gyms are a lot smaller than here. But there's a lot of fans. Um, in Nordlingen, where I played, there was a lot of fans that came. There was probably about 700 to 1,000 that came every game. Oh, wow. And the gym was small, and so it was really cool to have all those fans. And then um, the one thing that's way different there is they play drums while we play. Like, there's these huge drums. There's, like, three or four guys that, like, just bang on these drums the whole game to get the crowd into it. Um, so that is, like... That like makes the atmosphere there. Is it really loud? Like you you hear it on the court? And yeah, it's really loud. Oh. And uh, my grandma always said when she watched the game, she's like, I was so annoyed at first because you can hear them like on on the TV, but then you get used to it after a while. But yeah, it's really really cool. How funny. Yeah. Playing professionally, what did that take as far as a skill level going from college at the Division One level to professional? Um, it's a it's a jump. Um, it's a like. From high school to college, it's there's it's a lot quicker, a okay. lot stronger. Um, college to professionally, it's a lot quicker. It's even quicker, and it's even um, the girls are even stronger. I played against a girl that was six five, six six, wow. um, at my position, and so I had to figure out how to do that. Um, and it's a lo it's really physical. In Germany, they um, they don't really call fouls, um, so really? you really can do anything you want. Yeah, it's it was crazy. Um, but yeah, that, those are the things that uh, were the biggest difference. You're calling it a career as far as playing, you're retiring, what went into that decision? Um, mostly just I want to be back closer to my family and my boyfriend. Um, just being back in Ohio, being back in America. Um, I love Germany, I love the experience, I'm so thankful for the experience, but um, I just, I'm ready to be back closer to my family and make a, start giving back um, also, give back to all the knowledge that I've gained through all this playing. I'm ready to start giving back to um, high schoolers or college kids. Yeah, you're hoping coaching is next, mm -hmm. and this summer you'll get a chance to do quite a bit of coaching. Just tell mm -hmm. us about that experience. Yeah, I'm working um, for this organization called NBC Camps, and it's out in Spokane, Washington, and I get to work with kids every week. It's a Christian organization, and we get to do Bible studies and um, teach basketball, obviously. And then I was hired to be like the USA coach to go back to Germany for 10 days. And I'm really excited for the opportunity to show um, high schoolers what Germany has to offer as well um, and play German teams. And you'll get to go back to your, your old town for that, right? Yeah, we're going to get to play a game, uh, one game there. So I get to go back and see everybody that I uh, lived with for the past year and then also get to show the girls I'm with um, where I lived. Has coaching always been kind of what you saw yourself doing eventually? Yeah, um, once I got um, into college and started playing in college, I definitely could see myself being a, col or being a coach, high school or college level. Mm -hmm. um, just being able, like I said, to give back. And um, I feel like I went through all this for a reason, to be able to give all the knowledge back, and um, not just about basketball, but about life as well. 
Faith is obviously so important to you. What did God teach you in your year in Germany? Oh, oh my gosh. Just to, the first thing that comes to my mind is just to be patient and to, to believe in him. Um, that it was really tough to be that far away from home and to, to day in, day out, go to practice twice a day and to um, stay faithful and to stay, to stay strong. Mm -hmm. um, so those, that was the biggest thing that I learned through the last 10 months. Was Christianity kind of a part of culture in Germany, or has it been wiped out completely? Yeah. Was, was there much there? Not really. Um, I went to church twice, okay. <laughs> um, and I couldn't understand a word, <laughs> <laughs> so I literally just sat there. <laughs> but it was really cool. Um, it's not really a part of the daily life there, which is sad, but um, yeah, I'm glad I got to go to church. I got to go to church on Easter with my dad, so oh, wow. <laughs> that was really nice. Was that hard being on a team? I mean, you did it at Youngstown State as well. Were you, did you kind of feel alone in your faith at, the, at those moments? I did, a lot. Um, but luckily, one of my teammates, she, she had a really strong faith. And okay. so we started this Facebook page and was doing, um, just like sending each other things every once in a while and trying to keep each other accountable. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was, it was difficult. But I know missions good. trips have made a big impact on your life. Uh, j just take us through that trip to India that you took a few summers ago. Yeah, oh gosh, it was the best trip of my life. I could talk all day about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I went to India for three weeks and um, hiked the Himalaya mountains and stayed with um, people, like stayed in the villages mm -hmm. and got to play with little kids and like teach them like English words. And um, it was just a really cool experience just to be with 10 other college students and get to experience something that God created that was so much bigger than playing basketball in Youngstown or going to school or being in America. It was just unbelievable. Was there something in particular that God really spoke to you through that trip that you still hang on to today? Um, yeah, just, just what I said, okay. that life is so much bigger than playing mm -hmm. basketball or um, that's what I remembered being in Germany. Like mm -hmm. life is so much bigger than this like there's so many people we can touch through basketball but it's not all life has to offer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. relationships can be so hard in this culture <laughs> this day yeah. and age it's changed a lot in 10 years it's changed a lot in 30 years you and your boyfriend were different countries different yeah. time zones <laughs> how did that yeah. maybe bring you stronger what kind of difficulties did you face kind of as a relationship yeah um every day it was it was a challenge. <laughs> I feel like every day I'm like, I really wish he was here. I wish I was there. Um, but you know, right now, this is what God planned for us. And this is where we are supposed to be. And he's an engineer at Marathon. And so he's really busy with that. And, I, and I'm busy playing basketball, living my dream. And I'm so thankful he supported me in doing that. And um, we just learned that like, we, had, we just have to trust him and trust that um, this is his plan. Um, every day there'd be like days I'm like, I just, <laughs> I don't think I can do this. <laughs> like, go live your life. But he'd be strong and be like, no, like this is what God has planned for us. And now that I'm home, it's it's just that much greater, and it's um, we're a lot stronger from it. Well, enjoy your summer. Have a great time in Spokane. Enjoy Ohio when you're here, yes. but enjoy Spokane as well on that trip back to Germany. And thanks for your time. Yeah. All right, thank you. You're welcome, Heidi Schlegel, the Wapakoneta grad, Youngstown State grad, and now. Uh, doing camps out in Spokane, Washington.